Warning. Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Hi, I'm Ethan Rossler. I'm a welding engineer here at Miller Electric. Understanding and preventing common weld problems before they start can help you save time and money. Shielding gas problems can result in porosity or poor quality welds. Numerous factors can affect shielding gas delivery and coverage of the weld. Shielding gas selection is the first step. Make sure that your shielding gas is correct for the material and mode of transfer you're welding on. For solid steel wire, 75% argon and 25% CO2 is commonly used for short circuit and can also be used with RMD. 90% argon and 10% CO2 is a very common shielding gas in manufacturing and can be used with all modes of transfer on solid steel wire. Using the correct flow rate is important, but finding it can be a challenge at times. Hobart's data sheets will specify what type of shielding gas to use and a range of flow rates for the wire. A common range for welding steel is 30 to 40 cubic feet per hour. Typically, your flow rate can be set lower for CV short circuit or RMD when smaller nozzles are used. When welding with CV spray and pulse spray, larger nozzles and higher flow rates are used. When higher wire feed speeds or larger diameter wires are used, your current will increase, resulting in a larger weld puddle. In these scenarios, larger nozzles may be necessary to provide proper shielding. If you are still experiencing issues with your welds, even when your flow rate is set properly, be sure to check and clean any spatter buildup in your nozzle. The O-rings on the power pin are a commonly overlooked service item on a MIG gun. O-rings that are cracked, torn, or worn can allow gas to escape and deliver less shielding gas to the nozzle. Also, make sure that the power pin is fully seated in the drive casting. This will ensure that the shielding gas ports are aligned properly. For more information on any of these topics, visit MillerWelds.com.